Hi, everybody. It's Mrs. Buckley here. I miss you all so much, and I am so happy to have this chance to come and visit with you. Today, I thought we would read a story about sloths. Sloths are animals that live in South America, and they live in the jungle. There are two different kinds of sloths. Some have only two toes, some have three toes. Uh, they spend all of their time hanging from trees. They move very, very slowly. They like to eat leaves and flowers and fruit. And they're just kind of very laid back, peaceful animals. I decided to read this book for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love the pictures. Secondly, it has a lot of animals in it, and you know I love animals, and some of these animals are pretty unusual. It also um, made me very curious about sloths, and I found out when I started to learn about them that I love them. So I thought maybe if you look at the book and hear about what a sloth is, you would get curious and maybe you'd want to learn more about them too. So today our book is Slowly, Slowly, Slowly Said the Sloth by Eric Carl. We're going to take a look at it and then um, I'll come back and we'll talk afterwards. All righty. All right. Let's start out on this page, which shows us some of the other animals that are going to appear in this book. Some of them I'm sure you recognize, like the porcupine, the macaw, the jaguar, the turtle, the bat, the tree frog. But some of them are more unusual. This is a spider monkey. And this is a howler monkey. The huge snake is called an anaconda. And this fellow down here that looks like an alligator or a crocodile is actually a caiman, which is a smaller version of that. All right. Oh, and here's a little bat. He blends in. Let's go back and start the story, and you can be looking for some of these animals as we go along. Slowly, 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 said the sloth, by Eric Carle. Slowly, 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 a sloth crawled along the branch of a tree. Slowly, 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 the sloth ate a leaf. Here's our anaconda and some beautiful parrots. Slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. Slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. He's going to have a visit with Mr. Armadillo here. All day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. All night long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Well, that looks just miserable to me. I wouldn't like that. Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day. But the sloth didn't answer. 
Why are you so quiet? The cayman asked. But the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so boring? The anteater asked. But the sloth didn't answer. Oh my goodness, I see a whole bunch of little leaf cutter ants here, and this is an anteater. They better watch out. Tell me, said the jaguar, why are you so lazy? The sloth thought and thought and thought for a long, long, long time. Finally, the sloth replied, It is true that I am slow, quiet, and boring. I am lackadaisical. I dawdle and I dilly-dally. I am also unflappable, languid, stoic, impassive, sluggish, lethargic, placid, calm, mellow, laid-back, and, well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil, and I like to live in peace. But I am not lazy. Then the sloth yawned and said, That's just how I am. I like to do things slowly, slowly, slowly. So, how did you like the book? Didn't you love those photographs and those pictures? They have so many beautiful colors, right? If, um, if you remember toward the end of the book, when he was explaining to the cheetah that he wasn't lazy, he's just the way he is. Um, he's just being a sloth. He used a lot of very big words like Laxadaisical, like dilly dally, dawdle, unflappable. All of those words basically mean that a sloth is a calm, slow, laid back, unexcited kind of a fellow. He really keeps his cool. If you would like to see what a real sloth looks like, and learn some more information. Maybe you could get one of the grown-ups in your house to help you get on YouTube. There are a lot, a lot of videos on YouTube and you can watch real sloths, um, baby sloths, big sloths. And um, some of them are very funny. They're all very cute. And I think you would really enjoy it. Another thing you might try is you might try to be a sloth yourself. And I think you will find that it's not as easy as you think to go slow all the time and to be calm all the time. I know most of you think that it's really hard to be the fastest, but sometimes it's really hard to be the slowest. Try something like a sloth would do it. Maybe sing the ABCs like a sloth. It would be awfully slow. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Oh my goodness, that would take forever. I can't possibly do it on this video. It would take too, too long. Maybe you can try it. Maybe you could try a lot of things like a sloth. Anyway, I hope we had fun. I know I had fun. I hope you had fun. I wish I could give each and every one of you a great big hug. I'll tell you what, 
Let's have a virtual hug. Cross your arms like this, hold on tight, and give yourself a little rock. Excellent. Now we've given each other a virtual hug. A hug from me to you and you back to me. And that's just going to have to hold us until this crazy, crazy time is over. I have to go now, but I'll be back in another video and you'll have lots of videos to watch of your other teachers too. So goodbye for now, signing off, and I'll see you next time. Mwah!